Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. So yesterday, Verizon announced their second quarter earnings. I was able to tune into the Q&A, so I had some info that I wanted to share with you guys. So the earnings call went really well. Verizon did beat their estimates. So to start off, they did add 199,000 post-pay customers for the quarter. That was really good. If you guys remember my earlier videos, Verizon had a slump where they lost a lot of customers for a few quarters. So next, they did increase their churn year over year for the first time in, in the last five quarters. So their churn number did increase, so they lost a few more customers than they usually do. But that's not too bad. It is very competitive. Uh, T-Mobile has a really good deal. Sprint has really good deals. But they did manage to gain 199,000 customers. And I think going forward, they will maintain that same number. Also, they did have a lower expectations for the capital investment. They want to be on the range between 17.0 to 17.8 billion. Now, I do want to point out they did say they will be on the lower end, but they're still spending 17 billion for the densification. So I think that's a lot of money that they're going to, sp going to be spending on densification. Next, the company also noted that it added 398,000 smartphone customers, a sign that people are ditching their old flip phones and moving over to smartphones. Now, this is a really important step for Verizon as they recently announced that they will be shutting off the CDMA 3G network end of next year. So these customers are starting to migrate over to newer phones that support voice over LTE. So that is a really, really, really good step in the right direction for Verizon. Now, the prepaid segment, they didn't do too well. Verizon's prepaid business is on the lower end. They've really never cared for it that much. Most of their customers are on postpaid. So they did lose 236,000 and they only added they only uh, compared to 19,000 that they added a year ago in the same quarter. Next, their service revenue turns positive. That is really good. They haven't had a good service revenue in the last few quarters, but it's now positive. Inches up to 15.8 billion. Also, their equipment revenue is also up nearly 7% to 5.04 billion. Their total wireless revenue of 22.4 billion, up 5.5% year over year. So that is really good. That is something that John Legere had pointed out as well, that these other carriers weren't turning positive on the revenue like T-Mobile has. Well, Verizon has now been able to turn that positive. Uh, next, the Band 5 refarm. It is ongoing and has now ramped up. After the announcement of them shutting off the CDMA and 3G networks next year, literally a few days after that, I have started connecting to Band 5 here in El Paso. So I just wanted to point that out. I did post that on my Instagram. If you aren't following me there yet, I will leave that in the description down below. I posted that a few days ago that I'm starting to see Band 5 around my area. So I wanted you guys to keep a lookout in your area that you might be also connecting to this as well. So I reached out to one of the engineers that I know and they did tell me that Verizon has radios that they placed on older towers because I was wondering the tower that I connected to it was an older tower that hasn't gotten panel swaps. So he did tell me they can turn the CDMA off on these towers remotely. And then they had added some of these towers were already future proof. They had radios on them that can broadcast the frequency. So they just flipped the switch, turned off the old radio, turned this new one on and boom, now the band five is live in my area. So I just wanted to make sure that you guys keep a lookout for this as well as this does help with capacity so i hope you guys enjoyed the content um, i wanted to tune into the q a i also tuned into the q a for at&t so just to give you a preview that's what the next video is going to be about and at&t didn't do so well but we'll discuss that in the next video so make sure you guys subscribe to the channel uh, make sure you like and share this is Tyrone with Tech Life, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.